Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee vlog. In this video, we are going to prepare a roast for tomorrow. We're actually gonna do 10 pounds tomorrow. So I wanna be able to standardize my roasting process. Um, I've already got a bag here, cause I did that already. Um, I'm gonna need another bag of green and I'm gonna collect this from our big half pound bag here. Um, I recorded this in another video. Uh, apparently it didn't get recorded the correct way. So we're gonna do this again. That's okay because we actually need another bag of Honduras here. So for this order, we're actually going to be roasting, like I said, 10 pounds, uh, which means with my machine, I'm gonna probably need um, about five or so batches, okay? So we're gonna use one of these bags here and put some green in it. Okay, so before we get started and transfer this big old pile of greens into one of these more manageable bags, we're going to put on our mask. Um, the reason why we do this is because there's a lot of allergens in green coming from all kinds of sorts of places and we don't want to irritate our lungs, our respiratory with that. So masks on. And gloves. So we're going to transfer some of this green into here. Um, when you order wholesale, this is the bags that they come in. And these sort of uh, canvas-like sacks are gonna be marked with the supplier, uh, the lot and some other in uh, cool information concerning the farm, uh, the grade, uh, the year, that's important, when this thing was harvested. So this one was, uh, where is it? Here at the bottom, 2018 to 2019. What I wanna explore next, and maybe I'll just ask some of you guys whether you know, what dictates a crop to be fresh? Uh, like if this, for example, was from 2017, would that be considered too old or is that still fresh? Or is fresh from, since this is the year 2020, is fresh meaning from this year? That's my question. Something to explore later. Inside this sack, you're gonna see these plastic bags, which are grain pro bags. So these are supposed to keep out moisture, um, maintain the longev longevity of these green uh, for the most stability as they sit in storage. All right, now we're gonna transfer kind of the same amount into here. Now this scoop that I'm using, I'm now only going to exclusively use it for green. I'm not gonna mix this with roasted coffee or with food from my kitchen. It's gonna be only for this purpose only. And that's just to sort of maintain a, a non-contamination, no cross-contamination of things. All right, that looks like it's enough. So these coffees will sit here until we are ready to roast them tomorrow morning. Sorry, back up. Next, what we're gonna go do is develop the roast profile for this, and we're gonna make sure it's all well and ready to go in roast path. Okay, welcome to the office. Here we are going to uh, start to document things and get things ready for Rose Path. Now, like I said, I already recorded this video and it messed up. So here we are in Rose Path. And what we want to do is go to your portal. Um, the first thing we wanna make sure is do we have our greens already in here? So I did this already, Honduras Copan Organic. And when you wanna add a new green, all you gotta do is add new green. So we already have that in there, boom. I've entered in all of the relevant information for myself. Um, the altitude being 1200 to 1700, it's a wash process coffee. And basically as a roaster at my level, I'm using this information to determine what my charge is gonna be and what my um, overall like thinking and uh, theory will be going into, what my goals will be 
going into roasting this for the first time. Now it's washed, it's organic, and it's a relatively on the higher end in terms of uh, elevation level. So that gives me an idea as to how I'm going to um, uh, address this coffee in the roaster. Okay, so now we go to coffees. And to get ready for tomorrow's roast, I want to create a new coffee. Okay, so I already did that here. Boom. And um, tomorrow we will be actively developing the master path for this coffee. Um, as we have a lot of this coffee, I want to kind of develop a, um, a method and consistency for each profile. So for the city profile, the full city profile, and then for the darker profile, okay? And uh, I'll be keeping all of this uh, on track so that it can be as consistent as possible. Once I open this up in my tablet, when I'm ready to roast, it will have a button here that says roast this coffee. And it'll even have a button where it'd be like roast this coffee again or something like this where you can trace the pattern or the curve of that profile that say you really liked and you nailed maybe, okay? So that's what we're gonna do for tomorrow. Now, since this, this coffee is a 1200 to 1700, I'm thinking it's going to be not the highest charge, which I would call the highest charge that I usually do for a higher elevation coffee, which I range about like 2,000 meters. It's not 2,000 meters, it's kind of under it, right? Um, so from 1,200 to 1,700. I am thinking, this is my preemptive thinking, as a 380 charge. And now with this charge, and I'm gonna go full city, so I'm going to not wanna go to quick and fast, um, hot and fast. I don't really want to do that. I want to try to develop as much flavor as I can within the roast, uh, within the roast profile of being a, a full city roast. Now, if it plays out well, I will try to push the limit, I guess, and maybe even go for like a full city plus or something. But I'm thinking with this type of coffee and how it is and its background being a Honduras, being very uh, friendly to the palate, and it's not, it's not really, for this, for this client in particular, it's not really about nuance, it's really about pleasing the most people. So I'm going for full city, but not really full city plus, I may play with that, but I'm just gonna keep it within a really safe range of the full city. So that's my thinking when I go into roasting new coffees and I'm going to do a lot of batches and I want to try to produce something that is consistent. Um, I want to have a method for each thing that I do. Um, from the way that you guys saw me scoop the green into that other bag <laughs> so that I could not bring that big full bag, that, that'd be way too heavy for me um, when I go to roast, um, to developing profiles, adjusting profiles. I want to try to create a system around everything that I do that way. Um, it's kind of like shooting a free throw. You have a routine and you want to make sure that you're hitting all your markers. When I learned archery, it was the same thing that they were teaching us, you know, step up, breathe out, pull back, release. You know, you'd have your, you'd have your one, two, three count or your little routine that you do. Um, to make sure that you're just hitting all the markers. When I used to shoot weddings, for example, um, the way that I would just load my camera every morning, I would make sure that I'm putting the lens on a certain way or um, equipping my right, then my left, putting my card right, then left, then format, then format, then sync. Like I had a, a way of doing things, a routine of doing things to make sure that I was consistent every single time. And that's the same sort of muscle memory um, and discipline and consistency that I want to bring into my roast um, realm, <laughs> uh, what have you. Okay, so that's my plan of attack for tomorrow. That is the goal. Uh, I want to start very early tomorrow morning. Um, it's getting quite hot, so I'm going to get out of there by hopefully 9 or 10. Uh, roast from early morning to even still early in the morning and then be done. Um, and then have time to cup these coffees. So stay tuned for the rest of this series where we go through roasting this real order. 
um, 10 bags of coffee, going through the steps, trying to create um, a master profile from the way that we start to finish. Okay, so it will end the series with a cupping and probably bagging and then maybe even delivering to the customer. Maybe you'll see that too. Um, good things. Okay, so I'll see you next time here on another Black City Coffee Vlog. Bye.